Hey you guys, um, here we got um, build episode number 12. This one is, uh, eh, there's not too much really going on in this video in terms of construction work. So this is just about getting some new parts and spending some time with a really dear friend of mine. And uh, you'll see her in the video and sharing the van as well with her. Um, so, anyway, here's build episode number 12. Hope you like it. That's a mask. There we go. Blue Seas 12 volt DC distributor. Butyl tape. Battery switch. Oh yeah. Cool. <laughs> That's the battery switch. USB car charger. These should be just the, yeah. So all this is, is the socket, so that's great. <laughs> Bedtime stories. <laughs> uh, just drove to Squamish. Uh, finished my school tonight. Um, I went and picked up Ty. So this is the first night that she's with me in the van. There she is, all cozy. And I just gave her some water. I put the lid on it because I was like, uh, I don't know, I might step on it in the middle of the night. <sighs> anyway, we're gonna get a nap in, uh, sleep in up here, and then um, I've got uh, two rubber maids that are stacked right on top of each other right here and they're gonna go into my storage locker uh, so I've slimmed down I've gone through all my stuff and I've basically got it down to one of those with my clothes and personal effects and the other one's full of my like kind of kitchen stuff um, so I'm gonna narrow it down to just the two um, while I have her with me and uh, yeah, I guess uh, you know afterwards I can come retrieve both of these. They've they've just got some more clothes in them and stuff like that, and a few other personal effects, some extra supplies. Um, but a lot of it I can live without for a couple weeks, um, and it'll be really good to have the extra space in here, especially having a new body in the van. Um, I still need to trim this piece, but I just stuff it up there using one of my <laughs> and the other side just hanging out over the, the bin, so that'll work tonight. Tomorrow I'll get some uh um some elastic shock cord at a local climbing shop here in Squamish and that should short it out. Um Yeah, that's it. Good morning. I got uh, Tim Hortons coffee this morning. Normally I hate this stuff. I think it's just coffee flavored water, but uh, I watched a friend's video on YouTube yesterday and he was saying, if you don't like Tim Hortons coffee, you get a shot of espresso in it and it makes it taste like coffee. So that's what I did. I put a shot of espresso in it. Actually, this time I felt like I was like, drinking a coffee. So, Anyway, uh, I already picked up my sealant from uh, Triton that I need for the uh, rear heater um, manifold that I'm building. Um, still need to sort out a gasket, but uh, at the same time, I don't really have the, the heater with me, so maybe maybe the gasket might be something I can do later and in Vancouver. I'm pretty sure it is. And then, uh, yeah, we got to stop at the storage locker and a stop at the climbing shop and then it's heading back home uh, to Vancouver. 
that's it. Okay, we're out of here. <laughs> Off we go, back to Vancouver. I got some mail, came in. So I got my fuses. Um, real nice little package. I like the size of that. That would be awesome to keep those around. Got my connectors. Then I got this big box. Sweet. Boom. So the big box is supposed to be a max air fan for the roof. This is the 6200 model. Um, I got it on sale for uh, 270 bucks. This one currently is used, but it's in good condition. So I'm gonna find out just how good condition it is. Let's see whether I got it. it out. There's no pictures or any other information. It just said used. So we'll see. I came from Amazon. Already a great sign. It's definitely been beating around, so we will see. As far as I can tell, this thing looks brand new. Okay, uh, so it, it works. Um, basically, I just I didn't have a plug for it, but I was able to kind of hold this on the positive and this on the negative on the Jackery and, and just cycle through it. Looks like everything's good to go. So there we go, 270 bucks. I got myself a Max Air Fan. Now it's gonna be like where to install it. So I'll have to plan that out. I'm kind of more anxious to get on the vehicle sooner than later just because uh, it's not kicking around in a box, you know what I mean? So anyway, that's it. Even though I'm in a dog park, this dog is not the type of dog you take off leash. Uh, she's kind of a wild street dog from Thailand. So she's off leash, she's like off, and she's like scavenging for food, dead things, whatever she can get at. Uh, she'll get feisty with other dogs and pretty competitive for food in that way. Um, and here she is, had a garbage can, smelling that. Um, but awesome dog, super great with people, um, and it, she is pretty good company to have so far, you know, one night in the van, um, and then, uh, well, today will be the second night. Taking for a nice walk in this dog park, she's like really interested in all smells. Okay, uh, I figured I'd film a video of me just chilling in the van, um, because this is such a good time for me, I'm just like so happy, um, dogs with me she's just laying down over there it's pretty dark in here the light is just coming from this little like black diamond lamp right now i don't have lighting so like that's it battery powered whatever the video quality is this it is you know life man it, it's gonna it it's it shows up as it shows up and check this out I finished the back window covering today. So the way I did that is I actually popped the plastic stuff off a little bit and I got some paper and I put it up and I cut a rough dimension of it that was just oversized and then I snapped all the plastic back in place so it was like snapped over the paper and then I used a marker and I traced the whole outline and then I took it all out, I scissored it all off and then I put the paper onto the foam and I cut the foam out. Now on the edges of the foam, particularly like this edge and the top edge, there's a really like interesting like angle on it. Um, and I just guesstimated, I put my knife on an angle and I held that angle 
all through the cuts along this edge, that edge, and then that, that back edge way over there. Uh, the bottom was just a straight, like, you know, the knife was 90 degrees with the, uh, with the foam. And so that worked out really well. And as you can see, I didn't even need the bungee cords. So far it's just holding up really well. So I threw the bungee cord over there. I think these little eyelets are helping to keep the bottom in there. So that's good. The top ones maybe a little bit, so I might reposition them. That's it, I don't need bungee, so. That's great. I might screw something else up there in place, like get a little plastic block or something and then put that up there because I can probably use those eyelet things on the ceiling later and I can have some bungees up on the ceiling so I can reuse that bungee cord. It's not a waste of money. I spent 85 cents on a meter and a half of bungee cord. Anyway, I'm going to uh, pause this because I think my dinner is ready. Oceanfront waking up. Put me in the van. Mm. Anyone care for a psychoactive mushroom this morning? <laughs> <laughs> 